The summer of 1998 was a pivotal period for Manchester United as they aimed to reclaim the Premier League trophy. After leading for much of the season, United were pipped to the trophy by rivals Arsenal. Sir Alex set about building a team that would not just fight for the Premier League title, but also challenge in Europe as well. Sir Alex and his staff identified that both defence and attack would need to be upgraded to mount an offence on all fronts. United's first signing of the summer was centre-back Yap Stam, with the Dutchman joining for £15 million from PSV Eindhoven. Next, the club looked to add quality in attack. A deal was completed for Swedish international Jesper Blomqvist, the winger signing from Parma in a £7 million deal. Not content with his team's summer activity, Sir Alex pushed for a centre-forward. The feeling around the club was an additional striker would provide the necessary firepower the club needed domestically and in Europe. Two names that were constantly linked with the club over the summer were Dwight York and Patrick Clivert. With Aston Villa rebuffing United's initial valuation of Dwight York, it seemed for all the world that Patrick Clivert would be at Old Trafford next season. Manchester United and AC Milan had agreed a fee of £9 million, only for Patrick Clivert and his agent to scupper the deal with his extreme wage request and signing on fee. After the deal with Clivert fell through at the last hurdle, United returned to the negotiation table with Aston Villa. In what turned out to be a game of poker between the two clubs, United finally got their man, sealing a 12 million deal for the Caribbean international. The season started against the champions Arsenal in the Community Shield, or Charity Shield as it was known back then. Back here, and now Castillo that might come for Overmars! Overmars, oh, and Christopher Ray put in by Anelka! Back to Ray again, 2-0! Arsenal ran out deserved winners, winning the match 3-0 and leaving Sir Alex with much to ponder. Manchester United started their Champions League campaign against Polish side LKS Lodz in the qualifying rounds. In the 98-99 season, English teams only had two teams eligible for the Champions League. The champions would automatically qualify for the group stage, whilst the runners-up would face qualifying rounds. United emerged victors winning the game 2-0. The first game of the Premier League season saw Leicester travel to Old Trafford. Remarkable run by him, Forster got him, Forster Heskey, and it's there! But he has support in the area, Heskey's one, Cotty's two, that's two! Leicester ahead, Beckham with a shot, takes a deflection, and it's a goal! Teddy Sheringham's first touch, Mayer has to be a Beckham special, can he dip it? Drops it in, yes he has! Beckham's back! Love him or hate him, we can't keep a great footballer down! Following his World Cup antics, David Beckham received a hostile reception in his first away game of the season. At Upton Park, West Ham held the visitors to a goalless draw. The game itself was uneventful and will be remembered for the blatant handball from Neil Ruddock that escaped further action. A double from Dwight York on his Old Trafford debut ensured United picked up their first three points of the season. Towards Mendonca. And it comes back to Kinsella. And Charlton have scored! This man wasn't. Scholes. Solskjaer. And it's come through to York. And Solskjaer takes it back. It's Beckham is sent it in, and it's Dwight York on his home day. Ball refers back on the Barnsley as Beckham gets the cross in. Oh, and Dwight York is there to get his second of the game. York. Here's Bird. He's got Beckham with him, doesn't need him. Great cross. in support over the head of York the goalkeeper comes a long long way there's an important touch Scholes puts it back in for York sit around the Coventry penalty area goalkeeper stays in his line Yorkton plays it in York is blocked so Scholes plays it in and diverted in by Yorkton David Beckham he's got outside Sergi Beckham's cross kicks it there
goals that arrived late in the day. It's your what a terrific game. It's goals. Two nil. Paul scores the scorer after an absolutely spectacular attempt. Now Rivaldo. And now Sanderson. And it's 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two, two. It's Beckham. It's Zenden. Now Rivaldo. Stopped by Schmeichel. Anderson stopped again and in by Figo. But the referee is not going to allow it. He's going to show a red. Three. Much like earlier in the season, United were well beaten. Their next game against Liverpool presented the perfect opportunity to bounce back. Unnecessarily conceded, he comes out to try and deal with it and doesn't do that. And then uh, with that handball by Jason McAteer, Stephen Lodge points for the penalty. For Manchester United, who lead Liverpool by one goal to nil. Forward as well. to be yet another nail-biting European evening. Here is Carson Janka and now Salim Ancic. And now Janka and now they're surely offside. All of it. There's no flag. And Elber has scored. Bayern Munich in front. Here's Sheringham has played Beckham in. He's onside. Dwight York's in the middle. Here's Dwight York. And that's 1-1. One, one. Manchester United equalise. Dwight York has scored his first free kick. Dwight York, down towards Paul Scholes, bursting up with the ball, Mateus couldn't cut it out, on goes Scholes, it's 2-1. Paul Scholes, the 90 here, Schmeichler's come to claim it, didn't get there at all, and somehow they just score an equaliser, it's Elvin. Little flick from York, hit by Cruyff, Sheringham, oh what a save by Carl! Manchester United's game against Southampton would be the first time that Sir Alex unleashed his infamous pairing of Andy Cole and Dwight York. In fact, prior to this game, Andy Cole had been consistently linked with a move away from Old Trafford after seeing his playing time dramatically reduced since the arrival of York. On the pitch, the two gelled straight away and the rest is history. Dwight York scores from Cole's cross. Swede. Well, Manchester just... and Cole in backs of space again. Saved by Jones. Cruyff! This time there is no offside, and this time it's a goal for Andy Cole. Falls for Lieben, holds him off, it takes a deflection of Wimble and equalise. Surely he's not going to shoot, he's got York in support, Cole plays it to York. Cross from Blomquist, Giggs coming in, but Giggs scores! Manchester United firing in from all angles. Four games in the league between the two teams. Now David Beckham, who's got a famous goal against them. There's the 14th shot. It's York inside. Oh, and he squeezes it past the goalkeeper. It's Cole. Oh, excellent. Oh, 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 unbelievable. With all the confidence he showed on Saturday against Wimbledon. Oh, the goalkeeper has filled it. And Ryan Giggs has given Manchester United the lead inside of two minutes. It was a catastrophe. Crossed it by Bonfis. Giggs is there and gets a score again. York has tripped him straight away. Lovely control on the chest. Played into Andy Cole now. And that's 3 0 to Manchester United. And we haven't had half an hour yet. They're walking it. Dalgo this time. Oh, Peter Spikel. <laughs> Manchester United lead by four. Phil Neville on the counter. In towards Dwight York, and that's into York. Here's Solskjaer. Six. Only Solskjaer has only been on the field a moment or two. This is Banner with a shot. Good save by Schmeichel. Ever Sand is in. Brown. 
Howell. And there's Burton! A number of players to aim for with the cross. This is Troy. Oh, it's crept in! Jordi Cruyff! It's the Skulls. Plays it into York! Oh, great save! But not enough! Dwight York follows up, but he scored again. And the ball. Great ball from Beckham. Hey! And it's a goal! Unbelievable! Finish and Park cannot believe it! But plus. Up it goes, Ferguson's there! Now Cole, no mistaking. United, Beckham plays it to Blomquist. Surely it's going to score United's fourth, great save. Not enough, 4-1 Manchester United, they're rampant. Peter Schmeichel announced he would be leaving the club at the end of the season. The Danish international struggled with injuries in the season and believed his body could no longer cope with the demands of English football. Left it for Dwight York. It's Andy Cole now. Oh, lifted the ball beautifully in for number two. Held Chelsea and then moved in for Brian Ladra. It's Phil Neville. It's three. Oh, underneath the goalkeeper's body. And it's Dwight York's turn to get in on the act. Beckham's cross. York's header. Go Trafford. This would be the only home game that United didn't score in all season. Dwight York, Scholes to the left, Cole to the right. This is Paul Scholes, and that's 1 0. Beckham. But. Oh, this is lovely. This is York. Now, Beckham has been tumbled. And oh dear, is it all to see a red card issued to Tim Sherwood? Scholes again. Blackburn don't know which way to turn. It's Scholes! It's rapidly becoming an exhibition. Peacock. And Marcolin this time, yes. Short to Jeff Kenner. There's Blake, and that is a goal. Alexanderson in behind it. He tries the shot. Oh, it's in. Started brightly. Neville in possession, however, for United. The layoff from Cole to York. And back again to Cole. Brilliant. What a magnificent equaliser by Manchester United. About hitting it first time, plays it off instead, and then it goes towards Booth. Oh, it's a good save, but it'll surely be knocked in. The rebound has been. Ambitious ball. Beckham read it well, but a mistake by Stam and Alexanderson could be in again. Dealt with by Irwin, it's come out as far as Anderson. Well left by York, fed by Cole. Back to Andy Cole from Dwight York. Fantastic goal for Manchester United. Eight minutes of the same half. It's Rivaldo. Oh, deflected. By rising of Manchester United and not dragged down. It's Beckham to York. Ha! Now Beckham once more. York attacking the near post. He's got it right this time, all right. Manchester United are back in front. And it's Dwight York. It's in towards Rivaldo. Rivaldo, hat trick hunting. Struck that well. Good effort! It's gone in! Keane, Dwight York. Brilliant skill from York. And a set in Solskjaer. Who scored? Manchester United are level. Chance to shine straight away here. The Skulls gets into the penalty area. Straight from the kickoff before young Paul Robinson had got a touch. And the ball breaks for Kuehl. Mistake by young West Brown. And this time Kuehl makes no mistake. Slides it into Nicky Butt. Oh, what a goal by Nicky Butt. That is a magnificent strike. Worthy of winning any game. Now.
York is further back. Goalkeeper gets a hand, kicks left it for scores. Score on the start of the second half. It's four goals for Manchester United. On the chest of Dublin, this is Jurchin. Oh, he did ever so well there. Despite a late Bayern equaliser, United progressed through. The one team everyone wanted to avoid in the draw was Juventus, and United, just like the rest of Europe, were hoping they didn't progress through. Hold on. Right. Juventus qualified. Yeah, Juventus qualified. Sinton takes. Campbell. 39 going in with Schmeichel and beating him to it. Schmeichel in trouble. Solskjaer going far post. Giggs going on into the centre. Ryan Giggs, great stop. Solskjaer scores. Drops for Sheringham who saw Beckham straight away and found it. It's 2-0. Ginola. First to get to him is uh, Gary Neville. He's been booked. He's got to go. And here comes uh, Anderton. <laughs> Taken by Anderton. Early and it comes to butt. Comes to goal. Two minutes into stoppage time. Well, Manchester United trying to hang on. Zola. They can't hang on. The start of the new year saw Manchester United advance into the fourth round by beating Middlesbrough. Misjudgment again by Gary Neville. Rickard. Here's Brian Dean. It's three. There's a lot of red shirts. Oh, yes. Nicky Butch. And Skulls. Janssen very closely. The header crossed by Jensen, but he didn't mark him closely enough because Ronnie Janssen is there again. Sheringham. Skulls in the middle. Beckham takes over. And here surely is another chance for Giggs. Great goal. United's last game of 1998 saw them held to a goalless draw against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. The best chance falling to Gianfranco Zola in the second half.